Hey everyone, so I thought I would do um, a little crochet with me today. Um, I made my husband's um, co-worker a hat she had asked for. Um, then she took it home and her son seen it and game over. He took it and said, mine, mine, mine. So... Um, yeah, so now I'm making her another one, because it gets cold in, um, where they work, so, anyhow. The other one I made, I did, um, oh help me out here the postal um hat that um i made him i'll leave a link up here to that video um anyhow that's what i made um the other hat and with the postals because the yarn is that really super chunky um i think what did I get? I think I got Bernat Blanket is what I used. Um, this one, I have no idea what yarn this is. Um, it was given to me. And I didn't have um, a label on it. I'm thinking it's like Red Heart with Love. I could be wrong though. I have no idea. It's super soft though. Um, you can tell it's acrylic. So, anyhow, so yeah, I'm making her another hat. And hopefully her kiddo won't take this one. <laughs> but this one I'm doing, um, what am I doing with this one? Got the ribbed edging. So I'm doing from the bottom up. And then I'm doing the bean stitch and then half double crochets in between that. Um, but yeah. It's been one hell of a week, that is for sure. Um, my daughter decided to be a little butthead yesterday. And, um, I've got the bruises to, you know, that she had left me. I don't know what is going through that child's head. I mean, honestly, I just, I love her to death and I give her the world. So I, I don't know, you know, and it was all over something completely stupid, you know, because I have, my husband and I have a simple rule, you know, when we had given her the cell phone and it, well, rules, I should say, simple rules to the cell phone. One is it's only to use to let us, you know, that, okay, she's on the bus because of where, you know, we've moved to, where her bus stop is, is right where um i mean it's we're right by the interstate so it's right there you know next to that you know so the deal was you know she got this cell phone it's just my old cell phone it wasn't a brand new one or anything like that but anyhow um so the rule was you can she couldn't have any contacts on there other than you know her grandpa, her nana and papa, and then, of course, you know, her dad and I. And she was being, I don't know, a little overprotective of the phone. Like, she was just being really adamant with her phone. So, I opened it up, and I found pictures of, I don't know what, people call them nowadays but back when I was growing up you know they call them stoners you know that looked like they 
do drugs and just not really the right people to, you know, that she should be hanging out with. And, or emo, I think is what people call nowadays. I don't know. Anyhow, so I was mad for the fact that she wasn't supposed to be giving out her phone anyhow to anybody. And she has got other people um, on there. And so I scolded her for that and, you know, grounded her because she did just the opposite of what I had told her. Well, that's when she went after me, you know, and I couldn't get the phone away from her. And yeah, long story short, that was my day yesterday. It was just freaking crazy. Um had to call the police because couldn't find her. Didn't know where she was at. She wouldn't answer her phone. She wouldn't text me, nothing. So I had no idea where she was at. If she was okay. I don't know how she got to school. She still won't tell us how she got to school. Um... Because she missed the bus, so I know it wasn't the bus, so I have no idea. But um, the police found her at school, all well, the sheriffs did. Um, so that made me feel better, you know, knowing that, okay, she's at school, she's safe, you know. Um, but yeah, it's... <laughs> Like I said, I love her. She's my world, but I thought, you know, she got past all of this violent crap, but guess not, you know, I don't know. Freaking crazy. So I've been, like I said, doing a little bit of crocheting, um, slowly working on the house I was wanting to make because this year we're going to his mom and dad's house for Thanksgiving and I was going to make my stuffing and then some homemade rolls and she wanted me to make the mashed potatoes and then I get a text saying don't worry about making anything, just the mashed potatoes. And I'm going, well, what in the hell? You know? So, I don't know. So I guess I'm not making stuffing and I'm not making rolls, which is fine. Um, I'll just do it for thing or for Christmas dinner. No big deal. Um, so that just gives me more time to crochet and more time to diamond paint, you know. Um, I did find some more of my crafts, so, um, I'm not going to start anything new until after the new year, um, just because I've got a lot going on right now. Um, but yeah, so starting next year, um, there'll be definitely a lot more variety of videos going up um especially uh in february and march because that's when i start my seedlings for my garden um and then getting my garden um prepared for the planting um because i do start my my seeds indoors um, most of them. I mean, there's some I can't, you know, like potatoes and corn and things like that. You, you know, you need to, you can't really transfer those. Same with, uh, like radishes and lettuces and things like that. Um, those you need to just do a direct sow. But yeah, so I'll be making more and more videos of that as well. Canning, they'll be canning. Um... And then, um, hopefully more, uh, of my crafts, you know, like my jewelry making, um, clay work, 
Um, and then, of course, uh, maybe some scrapbooking or card making, you know. I don't know if I really want to get back into the scrap making, but the card making, you know, would definitely be fun to do. Um, I do have something coming in the mail. And it's something that um, I have not done in oh, probably five or six years. Um, so I'm really excited to get that. Um, so when it gets here, I'll definitely be doing an unboxing and a first impression on it with more details about, you know, what it is, but going to keep it a surprise for right now, just because, well, just because that I want to. I want to leave it a surprise. But anyhow, um, I'm trying to think, like, what else is there? Um, it's just been pretty quiet, really. I mean, I've got almost everything ready for, you know, like gifts bought, you know. I do still have to get you know, like, my daughter's stocking stuffers and, um, a couple of shirts, um, you know, things like that, you know, like, just the little basic things, but, um, yeah, for the most part, I've got it all done, um, well, I'm working on my dad's gift right now, I'm definitely not going to have all of them or both of them finished. Hopefully I'll at least have one finished. Um, and then the other one I can give to him, you know, after or maybe for his birthday. Because his birthday is the day after mine, which is in April. Um, plus my anniversary is in April. So, yeah, it's a, April's a busy month for me. Um, March, too. I have a lot of birthdays in March. My husband's and my daughter's birthday is next month in December. My husband's is December 12th, and my daughter's is December 21st. She actually wasn't supposed to be here until January 31st, um, but I guess she wanted to see what Christmas was about, so she came on December 21st. She was my biggest baby, by the way. Um, my son, I had him at 26 weeks. He weighed uh, two pounds. And my daughter, my oldest daughter, I had her at 24 weeks, and she weighed one pound. And then Micaiah... My youngest, she was born, let's see, six weeks, yeah, six weeks early, and she was a whopping four pounds, and they were like, oh, she's so tiny, and I'm like, no, she's so big, and I just started crying, because with my son, I didn't get to hear him cry when he was born, and same with my oldest daughter, you know, because their voices hadn't you know, the voice box hadn't, you know, developed yet. And, and yeah, so when, um, and both, both of them were just kind of whisked by me. So I, I only got like a, a real quick peek, you know, at them. Um, but anyhow, so my youngest daughter, um, they were saying how tiny she was. And I just started crying because she, she started crying, like when she was born, she, you know, she started crying, and so I start crying, and the nurses were getting upset at me, saying, you know, because, you now I, I was, I had to have a cesarean, so, you get where that's going, you know, sharp 
objects and the doctor trying to operate on me and so the nurses in German were getting upset at me and the doctor had to explain to them that it's okay you know and that this is the first time I've heard my baby cry and then they weren't so angry at me and you know they helped me calm down but yeah it that is the most precious thing you can ever hear is the sound of your baby you know after being born and believe me you do not want to take for granted of that you know it's to not be able to hear your baby and just see your baby being whisked off is so hard I mean she was whisked away as well but they at least let me give her a kiss um before you know taking her so yeah but um that was that was kind of a a bittersweet you know um i i ended up um doing a lot better in germany than i did with my son and my daughter here in the states it was, it was crazy i almost died well I did die for a moment with my daughter and my son, but um, they were my hardest. My Micaiah, though, in Germany, she had me going in, you know, instead of just once a month, she had me going in for the first, I don't know, probably for the first four or five months, you know, every other week. And then as I got closer, it was once a week. I was on complete bed rest. I did have to stay in the hospital for about a month. Um, they wanted to keep me indefinite throughout the whole pregnancy. They wanted to keep me in the hospital indefinitely. And I was like, no, 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 no. I said, I've got a husband and I've got a daughter I've got to take care of. Not possible, you know. And so, you know, the doctor made me promise that when I got home that I would be on bed, bed rest. So my neighbor, she was such a sweetheart, she took care of Allie for me. Um, Alicia is my oldest daughter. So she would t walk her down to the bus stop and then she would pick her up from the bus you know, when she got out of school, she, our laundry was down in the basement, so she would, you know, help my husband, you know, out by doing the laundry. She cooked for us. I mean, she, and this woman had, um, four kids of her own, and they were all little, you know, they, I think her, I think her oldest was six, or no, five. And her youngest was um, only, I'm going to say, mm, almost a year old. So, yeah, she was Wonder Woman. I mean, just amazing. But anyhow, I have sat here and talked long enough. It's about almost 20 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Um definitely be looking forward to um this new video that's going to be coming up hopefully in the next couple of weeks um i haven't received it yet so i it's been shipped i'm just waiting for it to get here so we'll see i'm excited i hope you guys will be too but um oh and i also real quick um Next month, I'm doing a collaboration with Mindy, uh, Mindy's Diamond Moment. Um, we're going to do a collaboration with um, a Christmas diamond painting that we both have. Um, so be on the lookout for that. I think that one is going to be fun. That's my first collaboration, so we'll see how it goes we've got something exciting um 
planned for us. So definitely be on the lookout for that as well. Okay, so I am going to for sure let you go this time. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving because it's today's the 27th. So yeah, Thanksgiving is tomorrow. So happy Thanksgiving to those that celebrate it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this. And don't forget to always smile. I love you guys. Bye-bye.